What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We are almost a quarter of the way through 2023 already, if you can believe that. And a lot of people are still looking to get into some new headphones, specifically wireless earphones. And we have two of the better options out right now, the new OnePlus Buds Pro 2 and those Pixel Buds Pro. And quite a difference in design language, but feature set are very comparable. Some have new features over others, but for the most part, you can't go wrong with either one of these, spoiler alert. Let's go ahead and jump into it, do a quick comparison, and look at what the better option might be for you. Here you guys can see the Pixel Buds in ear. And again, it looks a little different without that stem. They sit directly in the ear canal. This is audio coming directly from it. Test one, two, three. We have a background fan noise, not too much else. We have one of those drift cables going, so it's giving a little bit of noise off, but for the most part, it is a quiet, contained environment. What do you guys think? And here you go. Here are those OnePlus Buds Pro 2 with that similar stem design that has been made very common right now. This is audio coming from it as well. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Let me know in the comments which one sounds better to you guys. So starting off with what you see first when you unbox these, you are going to have a much more squarish rectangular design with those OnePlus Buds than you will with the actual Pixel Buds. They come in two colorways, black and green. As you can see, this is the green pattern. That does match their existing OnePlus 11 Pro phones. And then also the Pixel Buds come in this matte eggshell case that match the Pixel 7 series. So there's about four or five different color patterns you can get with black and white and lemongrass and fog and coral. So you have much more color options for the actual buds themselves, but not a charging case. However, these two do share some similarities that they both offer water resistance for the cases themselves, as well as the headphones. The OnePlus case is actually IPX4 water resistant and the Pixel Buds Pro case is actually IPX2. So you're getting a little plus one to OnePlus's water resistancy. None are dust proof. That hence the X in the name. But for actually the devices themselves, the Pixel Buds actually offer IPX4 water and dust resistance, as does the actual um, OnePlus Buds Pro 2. Having said that, the OnePlus Buds and the Pixel Buds, as far as a weight standpoint, neither are going to hurt you or break your back in, a, in your pocket. The Pixel Buds Pro are actually a little heavier at 62.4 grams, whereas the OnePlus Buds are 46.3 grams. Having said that, though, beyond all this, once we're actually deep diving more into the actual devices, you can see quite a stark difference as far as design. These are actually more of an in-ear stemless design, whereas the AirPods and the prior generation OnePlus Buds Go, they have that stem design. They do all have touch controls. Obviously, you have Google Assistant built in with the Pixel Buds Pro. I don't think a lot of people would complain about the stem design at this point, but you can see side by side, the Pixel Buds Pro just require a different sort of ear canal for an easy, comfortable fit. Um, whereas, you know, you have a smaller head here to fit that in your ear canal and it just would give a better seal personally. This is truly gonna depend on what you guys prefer and how you guys like your earphones to fit. But I have found from a comfort level personally that these or any sort of ear, in-ear stem designs fit better than these Pixel Buds. It is a very unique design that they chose and it is not very indicative of comfort in my ear. Now, it could just be me. Like I said, personally, I have tried different ear tips, but I do want to make that known to you guys. By no means is that the most comfortable earpiece in there. Both do have a three mic arrangement. The OnePlus Buds do actually have Bluetooth 5.3 rather than the OnePlus Buds, or excuse me, the Pixel Buds getting stuck at Bluetooth 5 still. So if you have a newer device, you will take advantage of better Bluetooth quality there rather than what you'll get in the actual Pixel Buds. So as you can see too, these are a little bit more of a pain to align in your case. Not a big deal, not a deal breaker, but just another call out as well. You do have touch controls on both, like I said. They have controls on the buds and the stems. They have multi-point connection between them. So either way, if you have a OnePlus Buds Pro 2 or the Pixel Buds, 
you can connect multiple devices at once and have it seamlessly connect between them depending on what's playing. What's awesome about multi-point connection is it doesn't matter if you're on a Windows computer, an Android device, or iOS, it can connect seamlessly to all of them. This is one big plus over what you have with AirPod Pros or any AirPods in general. Unless you're using an iPad, an iPhone, or a Mac, you're not gonna be able to connect seamlessly between those devices. Having said all that, battery-wise, the OnePlus Buds have six hours with ANC on. The Pixel Buds run at seven hours. The ANC definitely on the Pixel Buds win. Same with transparency mode. If you guys saw our other video talking about the OnePlus Buds, this is not a strong suit. By no means is it bad, and for the price point, I think it's good. But just keep in mind, if that's what you're getting, you might want to think more of the Pixel Buds. Having said all that, again, value-wise, these run pretty neck and neck in pricing. The OnePlus Buds are typically um, $199, excuse me, Pixel Buds are about $199. The OnePlus Buds are $179, but you can usually get these a little cheaper than that. So just something to keep in mind as well. Design standpoint, you're going to have to think which you like personally. I do like the eggshell look on this. I think it's just a little more convenient to slide in and out of your pockets, but not a huge deal either way. What is a deal that might be a deal breaker to some people, these actually both have 11 millimeter drivers, but, and as we've said before, these actually have dual drivers in the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. That is huge for an audio boost. There's so many more profile options and added sound if you're a bass fanatic that you can tweak throughout the apps in that OnePlus offers that Google currently does not. You will get spatial audio now with the most recent update. It has head tracking and just gives you that much more immersive feeling when listening to them. So again, value standpoint, you're saving money, you're getting some added features, some newer tech. If you don't mind transparency not being 110% and ANC only being okay, I don't think you can go wrong with the OnePlus Buds 2 Pro. They have been a hit. A lot of people love them, including us. It's just feature rich. Again, it's going to come down to personal preference, what you are using these headphones for more along the lines. Um, but aside from that, if you can get these for $179 or on sale sometimes in the app for only $139, these are a steal. Now, longevity, consistent support, feature drops, everything that goes for a Pixel device stays true for the Pixel Buds Pro. These babies, you know, will be supported. They will get additional features. They will be around and probably supported a lot longer than what OnePlus will offer. I do think that the sound profiles can even improve over time. The quick pair is, you know, equivalent on both. However, it is always just that much more seamless and quick on a Pixel device with the Pixel Buds. If you are using the OnePlus Buds on any other device other than a OnePlus phone, you're not going to have any issues either way. It'll still fast pair. It'll get the job done. Battery life, again, is phenomenal. It's really, truly going to come down to what design you like, what features you want. Do you want to save 20 bucks between these two? Do you, are you worried about ongoing support? Yeah, that is basically going to be your decision maker. If it was me, I would still choose actually the OnePlus Buds. Purely from a comfort standpoint, I truly, truly, truly do not like these bean-shaped pods. And we used to make fun of those Samsung Galaxy Buds or Beans that came out a while ago, but those are more comfortable than this. I don't know what it is. It could be a biased opinion, like I said. Leave a comment down below the, and let us know. Are you experiencing anything similar? Do you know what we're talking about here? Which one are you going for? Let us know. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.